you've you played some amazing characters through your career. What was it about Robert and his, his this, this amazing history uh, story that kind of compelled you to want to be involved? Well, I, I figured I was going to do it uh, because it was David, and it was how many chances do you get to do it? Your version of Game of Thrones, and I always wanted to be on Game of Thrones. So, um, you know, he pitched it to me as a David and Goliath story, and for me, it's that's not so interesting. As I was really more interested in. Um, a very wealthy man who decides to give up all of his wealth and power for the sacrifice of his family and uh, for the sake of uniting his country. But it's all very murky. You know, he's a man that wants power and um, uh, committed an insane amount of violence. And I think it's, I found, find it more a meditation on violence and the will to power and the uh, the will for dominance and the will, uh, people will call, call it like a freedom fighter movie. I think it's more about why do we commit violence? Why do we commit the violence in the name of nations and nation states and what does that mean? And um, So I, I think it's, uh, people are looking for a, um, you know, I think people may be looking for a clear, straightforward, hero epic story and that's not, that's not our film. Our film is, as all of the great pillars I think of an epic historical drama but I think it leaves a lot of open-ended questions which I I quite enjoy and maybe some people won't thank you for your time thank yeah. you. Cheers. loved your movies beforehand was this the kind of the biggest challenge that you've taken on so far because it's incredibly cinematic also you're taking a history story so you obviously want to be very true to that it, it, yeah, that's, that's part of the game is, is, to, is, is to try and make an entertaining, big budget, kind of like, you know, adventure action movie at the same time as being faithful to history. And we tried very hard and, and hopefully we've achieved it. Uh, it was a, it's, a, you know, it's a bigger scale movie than I've done before. It's a movie you know, about, you know, the heroic character from my home country. And it's, you know, it's sort of, it, 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 it's quite an important story to get right. Uh, and, and I hope we've achieved it. You know, and that, that, you know that's the ambition. and, and it, you know, you know the audience need to connect to it and uh, and all that, but I, I, I feel good about where the film is and uh, and and the, the the way that we've dealt with all the various challenges along the way. Yeah, I just I just want to ask you about. I just spoke to your producer about. Obviously, you cut the film down from Toronto, but you tried so so hard to get it to Toronto. I mean, I guess that was a, a, a part of the movie process that you would have done outside of that if you had the time, obviously. Yeah, no, I mean that we, we had an opportunity to go to Toronto and we took it. But we had to rush things, and then I I, I took a view and I and I, I I felt we wanted the flow to be. To just just to just to move more, and so it's yeah, it's 20 minutes or 22 minutes shorter, and it, and, and 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 the energy there is, is stronger. And there are one or two sequences that I felt were kind of dragging the, the the playability of the film down, and 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 I got rid of them. And I think I think the film is in so much better shape now. And I, I you know, and in a way, it's a shame to have put it out in, in in another shape. But that's the nature of what you do. You want to you want to you want to take all the opportunities you can to to, to, to put the film out into the world. Yeah, well, I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks a lot. Pleasure. Yeah. We just talked to, to Tony, and he was telling us about this uh, boot camp you guys did for, for right. four weeks. I mean, did this help with you not just to get into the mindset of the movie, but for all you guys to be in there together? A hundred percent. It was it was it was a bonding experience for us as guys uh, to get to know one another, and also uh, we had to uh, we had to you know know how to ride a horse professionally, one handed, and swing a sword above our head, and be able to jump off and throw someone off and climb up and. Uh, you know, went through a lot of stunts and horse riding, and then we went and, went and did the real thing out in the middle of nowhere and um, in the highlands, and it was gorgeous. I mean, landscape's fantastic, but uh, conditions are harsh, you know, in, in the sort of winter period. So it was great, yeah. yeah. And working with David, I mean, he's such a visionary director, and this one, I mean, it's all there on the screen, I and mean, it must have been amazing to work with someone who was so passionate about this project. Oh, 100%. I mean, he's... he's uh, a story, a very passionate project from from his uh, that, that he's held onto for a long time. So, and his heritage is from Scotland too. So, congratulations on the film. Yeah, it's a huge sweeping epic. I mean, yeah. after being in Game of Thrones, I, I bet you thought you had enough, but now you've been called back for another one. Uh, no, it was, it was wonderful. I, um, I'd wanted to work with David for quite a long time, and this was a perfect opportunity. You know. Great story, great director. What else can you ask for? Absolutely. You know? Wonderful. And it's, uh, I mean, visually and viscerally, I mean, yeah. it's, it's very intense, but also very yeah. beautiful. I yeah. mean, what was it like filming in those uh, places in Scotland? So I can imagine you were there for quite a long time and you saw... Oh, yeah, well, you know, obviously being Scots, I, I know how, how uh, cinema, uh, you know, how beautiful it looks on film. Uh, and I'm just glad that we made it up there, you know, that it was, that was uh, you know, a lot of Scots involved in the making of it, obviously a Scots director. And, a lot of Scots actors, it was wonderful to see. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm 
really looking forward to seeing it, how it looks. Yeah. Very exciting. And let me ask you about working with Chris. Obviously, a lot's been made about his Scottish accent, which apparently is very, very good. Lots yeah, of it is. Yeah. Very, very good. I yeah. mean, was that something you were always conscious of, or did you did you just let him kind of get on with? Oh no, I let, just let him get on with it. It was ab absolutely great, you know. And it, it, it wasn't overdone in any way. It was it was lovely and subtle, you know. So it was it was terrific. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he's a fine actor, you know. That was, that was no, never even occurred to me really. Um, obviously, you're involved with Game of Thrones. This movie's yeah. going on to onto Netflix, but also in cinemas. Yeah. I mean, are you are you are you hoping people go to the cinema and see this, or are you just happy for people to see it wherever they choose? Um, I, th I think it's you know the, the way that people viewing product now has changed so much, you know. Uh, but I think it's really good that it's getting a cinema. Well, uh, they decided to give it a cinematic or theatrical release, you know, because I think sometimes fil films. Of, of big stories sometimes require a big screen and a lot of people watching it with you. I think they might get more out of it, but then it's great that they can just go onto Netflix and and watch it any time they like on demand. You know that's the way things are now. You yeah, know? absolutely. Yeah. And I just wanted to ask about David. I mean, he's become this fantastic filmmaker. I mean, what yeah. was it about him that kind of drew you to him? Because he's done some amazing work so far. Um, yeah, I saw Starred Up, which I thought was fantastic, and and then funnily enough, he edited he came in and rescued a film that I made called Donkeys and I didn't think that film could be edited all the way through I thought this isn't going to cut together and he did a fantastic job of it and and when these when I found that out and that he wanted me in this movie I, I couldn't wait and he's he's a joy to work with and you just uh, you have such confidence in him and you just know he's getting the right stuff it's great you know, this this meant a lot to him, and it means a lot to me that uh, that we could be a part of that. And um, yeah, he's such a visionary director. I mean, his landscapes are stunning. I mean, he creates an environment that is realistic and lets us play within that. So, and uh, and hopefully you'll feel that you know that that kind of raw you know energy come through. I guess you know. Yeah, and just finally, I wanted to ask you, uh, obviously a lot's happened in the Marvel world since you vacated it. A lot of fans are hopeful that maybe you'll return because of what's happened. I mean, are you open to returning should the call I'm come? Always, I'm always open, yeah. I'm always open to uh, some new angle, but uh, there's uh, nothing I can share. So. <laughs> I'm sure you wouldn't anyway. Thank you so much for your Thank time. You much. Pleasure. I can imagine the lure of working with David was something, but then to be part of a story that was telling an important part of history must have made it oh, equally, uh, even, even no, more so. No, no, absolutely, my friend. And, and definitely, um, uh, you know, thinking, uh, forget about what you know or what you think you know, as it were, and you're like, yeah, I know about that character, Robert the Bruce, but um, uh, of course I knew that he's a, an iconic uh, Scottish king and, you know, he... He brought eventually with the declaration of our growth in 1320, Scotland became an independent sovereign nation. But to get to that point was, uh, you know, he's a man who gave up all his uh, his lands in Scotland and in England um, to uh, sacrifice it all to become uh, to to take the the audacity, which I keep using that word, to actually attempt to fight this uh, the, this behemoth, which is. Um, uh, Edward the First, the Hammer of the Scots, as he's sort of um, infamously known. Uh, but uh, and so when I dug into the story of it all, yeah, you do unearth so much about it. How they actually, the way they sort of took it castle by castle to try and uh, you know find their way to, to take on uh, uh, someone as powerful as Edward. So no, but but uh, as you go, as we shot more, we read about it more, we unearthed a lot of. Um, you know, interesting little nuggets about how these people, um, how these people behaved, and how, how the warfare, how the sort of the process of the warfare uh, went along, and that's was something David really wanted to, uh, you know, keep very real. So uh, yeah, hence the four weeks of boot camp, which was uh, brutal but fun. You know, there was uh, horse riding. You know, the usual. Axe wheeling, axe wielding, and, and dialect classes. Even for the even the Scots had dialect classes. So yeah. no, it was it was a it was a, a very humbling experience being part of this film. So I hope people uh, I hope people enjoy it. Yeah, I was going to ask you about the bootcamp actually, because I mean the movie does showcase the fact that you're all in it together. It's like a war movie. Yeah. You're all in the trenches together, getting down and everything else. But I guess that was testament to doing all that preparation beforehand. Yeah, that it looks no, so authentic. No, absolutely. It was great to actually work with a lot of the guys. Um, we were, you know, we were fighting together, horse riding together every day. Um, 
you know, how's your Scottish accent today? I don't know, not so bad, it's getting better, you know, stuff like that. Um, I was like, oh, Chris Pine's accent sounds bloody better than mine. Um, so, you know, not competitive at all. No, but um, no, it, it, was, it was great. So, yeah, definitely I think that period um, of, uh, of collaboration together, um, you know, definitely helped with the characters and it also helped with the sort of the camaraderie that you may, you know, you see on screen. But, uh, but as we as we shot, because we were on set 14 hours a day, you know, it was a long time, heavy armour, up on a hill somewhere, you never know, four seasons in one minute, never mind one day, so um, a lot of that brought us together, so. Yeah, it's obviously a very vast movie in terms of very cinematic, I mean, are you hopeful that people go to the cinema and see it as well oh, yeah, as watch no, it on abs Netflix? Absolutely, you know, I mean, I, no, I'm, I'm plugging, uh, but I, I'd love, to, it's a cinematic experience, I'd imagine, well, I've seen it on the screen already, I'm looking forward to seeing it again, that if you, you know, if you can go and see it at the cinema, I, I would, um, I would suggest you do that because it would be so much more powerful. Um, although, or you have a 64-inch TV, <laughs> don't watch it on your iPhone. <laughs> but um, it's funny, there's a little film I did called Caliber. They talk about that, and it's actually, it was on Netflix, well, yeah. and it's actually just got a cinema release itself, which is giving that a little plug, yes, which is, which is great as yeah. well with something that started on the wonderful social um, um, you know, platform like uh, uh, Netflix, and now it's, now it's going to a cinema release. So, um, yeah, it's... It, this film, I would definitely say, check it out on the cinema. Yeah, right. I think right, you right. find it more uh, <clears throat> more fulfilling that way. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I wish you all the best. It's nice thank to you talk so to you. Thank Pleasure. you. Thank, thank you so you. much. Cheers. How have you gauged the reaction so far? Because obviously you premiered in Toronto, and, and obviously you've made a few changes. But have you gauged the kind of reaction so far? Do you know I'm I'm feeling the love today, which is which is lovely. It's really nice. Um, we we screened in Toronto. It was such a mad rush to get to Toronto. I'm delighted with. Um, the editing that we've done since then and uh, the few audience reactions so far have been fantastic. We were at a BAFTA Q&A last night which went extremely well. People loved it, so that's great. I guess with the kind of, obviously a lot's been made about the editing process, but I guess yeah. as you say, because you were getting it ready for Toronto so quickly, that those changes maybe didn't come when you maybe would have done them beforehand we were, anyway. Yeah, we were. We really moved heaven and earth to get it ready for, for Toronto. So. Um, you know, it, perhaps if we'd been, you know, if we'd caught our breaths, we would have um, sat back and taken a, a look at it. But I think it was really a wonderful experience and a very healthy one. And and as filmmakers, we've been very lucky, you know, to be able to go back in and, and, and recut. So, you know, we're very happy. Yeah. So what was it about this particular story that you and David found so intriguing? Because it's, it's, it's probably the biggest one you guys have made together. Well, you know, the, 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 in our country, William Wallace is, is the national hero. And, you know, I noticed that he was even for a while, he was on the curriculum at, at school uh, and the kids are reading about him and I thought it was just so unfair because Robert the Bruce actually did set his country free. He actually, you know, it took him 20 years and had to sacrifice everything he owned. Um, and with a lot of strategic and diplomatic and political thinking, um, as well as some dirty battles, he actually managed it, whereas William Wallace frankly didn't. So I think it, I, I felt that it was a little bit of history that needed to be corrected. Yeah, and just on the, the cast, I mean, the cast is pretty impressive. Obviously, you worked with Chris before. I mean, what was it about him that made him perfect? Because obviously, he's not Scottish, but he does a, a very, very good job in this. Well, do you know, I actually, um, before he made Hell or High Water, somebody showed me a tweet, and it was a clip of him doing a Scottish accent when he arrived at Glasgow Airport and he was in the back of a Glasgow taxi and he was mimicking the taxi driver. And I thought, and I was so impressed by his accent. I thought, wow, he's got the physique. He's a great horseman. Um, he's got the height. Um, he's got the Scottish colouring, you know, his hair, his beard, you know. Um, and, and he's actually very funny. He's a great diplomat um, and he's actually an actual leader, you know, with the rest of the cast, he took, you know, the lead, he led from the front. Um, so it was, it was, he was perfect really. And what are you hoping audiences kind of take away from the film or indeed what they can look forward For to me, when they the watch the film? the message really is, um, you know, it's, a, it's David and Goliath's story and for me the message is, you know, if you're unhappy with the state of play, it doesn't matter how, how, how powerful people are, you know, Come on, David, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!